Texas, known for its vast landscapes, vibrant culture, and robust economy, is not typically associated with seismic activity. The state is more commonly known for its hurricanes, tornadoes, and other weather-related phenomena. However, the potential for a significant earthquake in Texas is not entirely out of the question. In recent years, a growing body of evidence has suggested that Texas could be at risk for a major earthquake. One of the strongest earthquakes ever reported in Texas occurred just a few weeks ago in the town of Hermley in Scurry County. The biggest one we've had is a 5.1. Following the 5.1 magnitude earthquake, more than 100 other earthquakes rocked the area and officials declared a state of emergency. Is this unusual occurrence an anomaly, or is it indicating deeper and more important changes happening under the state? Join us today as we delve into the specifics and investigate the possibility of a megaquake hitting Texas in the near future. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Texas is not located near the edges of tectonic plates, which are the primary sources of seismic activity worldwide. Instead, it lies in the interior of the North American Plate, far from the more seismically active regions like California along the Pacific Plate or Alaska. This geographical positioning has contributed to the perception that Texas is relatively immune to earthquakes. However, this perception is misleading. Beneath the surface, Texas has a complex geological structure that includes ancient faults, rifts, and zones of weakness that have been reactivated by both natural and human-induced activities. The most significant geological feature in Texas concerning potential seismic activity is the Balcones Fault Zone, which stretches from the southwest to the northeast across the state, passing near major cities like San Antonio and Austin. While this fault is not as active as the San Andreas Fault in California, it has the potential to produce earthquakes. Another factor contributing to the potential for seismic activity in Texas is induced seismicity. Over the past few decades, the state has experienced an increase in earthquakes, particularly in areas associated with oil and gas extraction. New forms of oil and natural gas drilling technology allow companies to drill not just down into the earth, but horizontally along an oil formation. This deep drilling process is known as fracking or hydraulic fracturing. They are reaching deeply buried oil and natural gas deposits that are the decomposed remnants of plants and animals in ancient oceans. When the oil comes up, the salt water, which can be millions of years old, also comes up. This is called produced water and there's a lot of it. This prehistoric water is much salter than ocean water and can't be disposed of in rivers or even the ocean, because it can contain contaminants such as hydrocarbons. Instead, it must be pumped back deep underground where it cannot leach into groundwater, a process called saltwater disposal. The large amounts of water being pumped underground in turn can cause earthquakes. As you can see, human activities can induce seismic activity by altering the pressure and stress conditions along fault lines. From the first large quake of magnitude 5.1, Scurry County in Texas experienced a total of 103 earthquakes, including 12 of magnitude 3 or more. The county's buildings can handle a few quakes here and there, but the cumulative effects of so many small ones, punctuated by larger shaking, have become cause for concern. According to Texas officials, the rash of earthquakes is not naturally occurring, as Texas in general is not a very seismically active part of the country. Instead, it is almost 99% likely to be linked to activity in local oil fields. Hermley, the epicenter for much of the recent earthquake activity, is located in the Permian Basin, an oil-rich area known for its high hydraulic fracturing activity. Following the earthquakes that occurred, Texas officials shut down two deep disposal wells in the area after inspections, and they will continue to monitor other wells and seismicity data to mitigate earthquakes and protect the environment and residents in the region. Although Texas has not experienced earthquakes on the scale of those in California or other seismically active regions, the state has a history of seismic activity. The largest recorded earthquake in Texas occurred on August 16, 1931, 
near the town of Valentine in West Texas. This earthquake had a magnitude of 6.0 and caused significant damage to buildings and infrastructure in the region. Fortunately, the area was sparsely populated, and there were no reported fatalities. More recently, the state has experienced a surge in smaller earthquakes, particularly in areas associated with oil and gas production. The Dallas-Fort Worth area, for example, has seen an increase in seismic activity over the past decade. In 2011, a magnitude 4.8 earthquake struck near the town of Fashing, and in 2015, a magnitude 4.0 earthquake occurred near Venus. These events, while relatively small, have raised concerns about the potential for larger earthquakes in the future. A major earthquake in Texas, particularly in a densely populated area, could have devastating consequences. The state's infrastructure, including buildings, roads, bridges, and pipelines, is not designed to withstand significant seismic activity. Many structures in Texas, particularly those built before modern building codes were established, are vulnerable to earthquake damage. Older buildings, particularly those made of unreinforced masonry, are at the highest risk of collapse. Meanwhile, Texas is a major economic hub, and a large earthquake could have far-reaching economic consequences. The state's oil and gas industry in particular could be severely impacted if pipelines, refineries, and other infrastructure are damaged. The cost of rebuilding and repairing damaged infrastructure would be substantial. Depending on the location and magnitude of the earthquake, there could be significant casualties and injuries. The risk is particularly high in densely populated urban areas where buildings and infrastructure are not designed to withstand seismic activity. In addition to the direct damage caused by the earthquake, there could be secondary environmental impacts. For example, if an earthquake were to damage oil and gas infrastructure, there could be spills or leaks that contaminate the environment. Additionally, landslides or dam failures triggered by the earthquake could have devastating environmental consequences. While it is impossible to predict exactly when or where an earthquake will occur, there are several measures that can be taken to mitigate the impact and improve the state's resilience. One of the most important steps in preparing for an earthquake is ensuring that buildings and infrastructure are designed to withstand seismic activity. This may require updating building codes and retrofitting older structures to make them more resistant to earthquakes. Infrastructure improvements, such as strengthening bridges and pipelines, can also help reduce the risk of damage. Early warning systems can provide valuable seconds or minutes of warning before the shaking begins. These systems use sensors to detect the initial seismic waves and send alerts to people in the affected area. Texas could benefit from implementing an early warning system, similar to those used in California and other seismically active regions. At the same time, educating the public about the risks of earthquakes and how to respond in the event of one is also crucial. Finally, given the link between oil and gas activities and increased seismicity, it is important to regulate these activities to reduce the risk of inducing earthquakes. This may include monitoring and limiting the amount of wastewater injected into deep wells, as well as conducting seismic risk assessments before approving new oil and gas projects. While there are many steps that can be taken to prepare for a major earthquake, there are also significant challenges and limitations. One of the biggest challenges is the lack of public awareness and concern about the risk of earthquakes in Texas. Because the state has not experienced a major earthquake in recent history, many people do not perceive it as a significant threat. This can make it difficult to garner support for preparedness efforts and to encourage people to take action. Another challenge is the cost of retrofitting buildings and infrastructure to make them more earthquake resistant. Retrofitting older buildings and infrastructure is expensive, and funding for these efforts may be limited. Additionally, the oil and gas industry is a major economic driver in Texas, and any efforts to regulate these activities could face significant opposition. Balancing the economic benefits of oil and gas production with the need to reduce the risk of earthquakes will require careful consideration and collaboration between industry, 
government, and communities. So, what are your thoughts on the recent earthquakes in Texas? Do you think there is a possibility for a major earthquake? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.